First Chronicles chapter 11. Then all Israel gathered themselves to David unto Hebron, saying, Behold, we are thy bone and thy flesh. And moreover, in time past, even when Saul was king, thou wast he that ledest out and broughtest in Israel. And the Lord thy God said unto thee, Thou shalt feed my people Israel, and thou shalt be ruler over my people Israel. Therefore came all the elders of Israel to the king of he to Hebron, and David made a covenant with, with them in Hebron before the Lord, and they anointed David king over Israel, according to the word of the Lord by Samuel. And David and all Israel went to Jerusalem, which is Jebus, where the Jebusites were, the inhabitants of the land. And the inhabitants of Jebus said to David, Thou shalt not come hither. Nevertheless, David took the cattle, castle of Zion, which is in the city of David. And David said, Whosoever smiteth the Jebusites first shall be chief and captain. So Joab the son of Zariah went up, went, went first up and was chief. And David dwelt in the castle, therefore they called it the city of David. And he built the city round about, even from Milo round about. And Joab repaired the rest of the city. So David waxed greater and greater, for the Lord of hosts was with him. These also are the chief of the mighty men whom David had, who strengthened themselves with him in the kingdom, and with all Israel, to make him king, according to the word of the Lord concerning Israel. And this is the number of the mighty men whom David had, Jashob, Jashobim, and Hakamnite, the chief of the captains. He lifted up his spear against three hundred slain by him at one time. And after him was Eleazar, the son of Dodo, the Hoite, who was one of the three mighties. He was with David at Pasdemim, and there was the Philistines were gathered together to battle. And there was a parcel of ground full of barley, and the people fled from before the Philistines. And they set themselves in the midst of the parcel, and delivered it, and slew the Philistines. And the Lord saved them by a great deliverance. Now of the thirty captains went down to the rock of David and to the cave of Adullam. And the host of the Philistines encamped in the valley of Rephium. And David was then in the hold, and the Philistines' garrison, garrison was then at Bethlehem. And David longed and said, Oh, that one would give me a drink of water of the well of Bethlehem that is at the gate. And the three brake through the host of the Philistines, and drew water out of the well of Bethlehem, that was by the gate, and took it, and brought it to David. But David would not drink of it, but poured it out to the Lord. And he said, My God forbid me that I should do this thing. Shall I drink the blood of these men that have put their lives in jeopardy? For with the jeopardy of their lives they brought it. Therefore he would not drink it. These things did these the three mightiest. And Abishai, the brother of Joab, he was chief of the three. For lifting up his spear against three hundred, he slew them, and had a name among the three. Of the three, he was more honorable than the two, for he was their captain. Howbeit he attained not to the first three. Beniah, the son of Jehodiah, the son of a valiant man of Kebazeel, who had been who had done many acts, he slew two lion like men of Moab. Also he went down and slew a lion in a pit in a snowy day. And he slew an Egyptian, a man of great stature, five cubits high, and the Egyptian hand was a spear like a weaver's beam. And he went down to him with a staff, and plucked the spear out of the Egyptian's hand, and slew him with his own spear. These things did Benaiah, the son of Jehodiah, and had the name among the three mighties. Behold, he was honorable among the thirty, but attained not to the first three, and David set him over his guard. Also the valiant men of the armies were Ashelil, the brother of Joab, Elihan, the son of Dodo, of Bethlehem, Shemoth, the Hamorite, Helez, the Pelonite, 
Ira, the son of Ikesh, the Tekoite, Abizer, the Anathite, Sibachai, the Hushathite, Eli, the Aohite, Mahari, the Netophilite, Help, the son of Bana, the Netophilite, Itthi, the son of Ribai, of Geba, that pertain to the children of Benjamin, Benai, the Pyrethonite, Hurai of the brooks of Gosh, Abel, and Arpathite, Asmath, the Barathmite, Elishba, the Shalbanite, the sons of Heshem, the Gizanite, Jonathan, the son of Sheg, the Herite, Ahiam, the son of Sakur, the Herite, Eliphal, the son of Ur, Hefer, the Metrite, Ahijah, the Pelonite, Hezro, the Carmelite, Nari, the son of Ezbi, Joel, the brother of Nathan, Mibhar, the son of Magari, Zalek, the Amorite, Nahari, the Bethanite, and the armor bearer of Joab, the son of Zariah, Ira, the Ithrite, Gareb, the Ithrite, Uriah, the Hittite, Zabad, the son of Halai. Ahalai, Adoniah, the son of Sheza, the Reubenite, the captain of the Reubenites, and thirty with him, Hanan, the son of Mecha, and Josphat, the Midianite, Uziah, the Astrolite, Shema, and Jethiel, the sons of Jothan, the Ararite, Jedaliel, the son of Shimri, the J- and Joah, his brother, the Tizite, Eliel, and Matahiv, and Jerbi, and Joshua, and the sons of Elanam, and Ishma, and the Moabite, Eliel, and Obed, and Jesiel, the Mesobite. First Chronicles chapter 11.